All right, we're playing the eight player altered melee map again, where you can choose your faction among eight races, uh, not just Naga and the other four races, but also demons. There's two other races I haven't tried yet. It looks like actually when you pick, that's when your main base spawns. So I probably had my base starting before his. Uh, there's two other races I didn't pick yet. I'd love to try them out next time. Note how they added like a flame strike animation to the building of every building in order to make it uh, demon-like. Because they have to work with the assets that they have to make them out like this, right? Uh, obelisk. So we have the Altar of Terror, which makes heroes. Then we have the Obelisk, enables you to train more units. And decreases the armor of the unit it attacks. I am so impressed again. When I was playing Naga, every building had like unique, interesting features that it's just fun. Like it's new ideas that you've never seen before in Warcraft 3, but you're familiar with the concepts from other games. So Obelisk is a stationary defense. It can't be too good then, considering it's literally the food building that you make. Uh, then there's a volcano, which makes units. So that's my barracks. Okay, what do we go? Raider, Hellcaller, Elder Warlock, Bloodfiend, or Efreet? So cool! Soul Ingest, Incantus Vivere, Cleaving, Attack Half, Terror, Magic Warding, and Hulk, Bloodfiend. Archimonde, let's go Archimonde. Elder Warlock, what does it do? Can learn energy redistribution, Iron Maiden Life Tap, and Incantus Dekidara. Incantus Dekidara! So the obelisk has... Oh! It's like glitch attack. And it drops armor by one. So it's not too OP. S seven to eight damage, negative armor by one. Cool. Let's make another obelisk. Pandemonium Fortress costs 155 wood. Uh, I'll link the I'll link the map after this game and also in the YouTube description. Lava creature, basic ranged attack with splash damage, and then we get dragon spawn, medium melee unit equipped with a sharpened blade. Let's see how good workers are. It's creeping. Energy redistribution converts health into mana. Damage when they attack Iron Maiden. A unit that attacks another unit with life tap cast upon it will heal on its flesh. Ah. So they do chaos damage. <laughs> Elder Warlock. What, what what hero model is based on Archimon from Dota, if any? Yeah, this is Archimon. Lycan? Oh. No, Shadow Demon. Okay, that makes sense, Shadow Demon. So they take damage when they attack the units upon which this ability is cast. Oh, damn. I just realized I lost a real unit. Lava spawn is real. I was treating it like a summon. That was bad. Hellforge, a drop off point for harvested lumber. But they're really weak. They're unarmored. Zero armor and unarmored, like huntresses. So they're taking mass damage from uh, these piercing attacks. Sucks. Any shop? Demonary shop. Purchasable items. The items available depend on what level of upgrade your demon shrine has and which buildings you have. Oh. I need some regen. Let's leave these at home. They're very cheap. But they still cost more than a gold. So losing them like that to creeps is horrendous. Beautiful. 
So am I healing from hitting him? Yeah. A bit. Like 10 damage per. So these should be here as well. Hellforge needed. Hellforge almost done. Cool building animation with the flame strike. Yeah, it's really nice. So now we can make dragon spawn and a flying attack creature. So we can actually make a flying. Wow, 150 wood. Four food, 150 wood. That's like the largest lumber relation to gold from any unit that I've ever seen. Improves dragon spawn defenses, enabling their hardened skills ability. Cool. We have regen scroll. And Wand of Neutralization. Neutralizing magic that bounces up to eight times, dispelling units in its wake. Contains four charges. That's cool. Counter item. Advanced Hellfire attack damage. And armor of demons in general. Let's get another hero, a raider. No, oh god, the creeps prioritize these lava spawns. There's something whack about their AI. Please. Ha th that makes them so useless, by the way. Like, I can tell you now that people would never go lava spawns, like lava creatures. Because the creeps auto prio them, even though they're like unarmored, you can literally not use them in creeping. Unless somehow there's a hero that has a better attack uh reception priority because sometimes it's different like there's creeps in warcraft 3 that will focus a blade master and then there's the ones that don't but there's some creeps that don't focus blade but they will focus tc so even heroes somehow don't have the same uh prioritization what does he have blade sharpening deals more damage against unarmored so you have to unzip them first you have to zip them against unarmored and medium armored units uh moves at very high speed towards the target knocking it back and stunning it a chance to deal bonus damage okay let's try charge i am the war chief so we can also get uh, hardened skills which reduces all oh it's mountain giants mountain giant armor a small version of it <laughs> Boom. Cool. Uh, we also have Cloister of Despair, Summon Warlocks and Demonesses. Let's go Demonesses. And what else do we have? Nether Tower, Bolts of Deadly Energy. Excellent at dealing massive damage to everything. Well, I'll have 10 of those. That sounds busted. Advertised as busted already. And what else? Demon Gate. Through the gate step various creatures straight from hell. All oh, right, it's another barracks. Stronghold of Deceit. This is a southwestern gate from hell. That's good to know, I guess. Can train Satyr, Thief, Oblivionite, and Infernal Juggernaut. Oh, there he is. I'm not ready to fight. Oh, he's expanding. So southwestern. It likes enchiladas. Yeah, I think so. Just like a random injection of lore. Demonology increases demoness's mana capacity, mana regeneration rate, hit points, and gives them the ability to cast flame. Oh yes, flame me, demoness. Oh, this looks like a human tower, but they added the fire. Stronghold of deceit. A southwestern gate from hell. 
Isn't Southwestern more like California? So it's gonna be like avocado and kale salad. No! It crashed! Oh, don't get level two on your raider. Ah. Uh, and right before we got to play with the demonesses. I just, I'm just gonna fast start. I just want to see the demonesses now. Uh, demon gate. And let's get some avocados from our southwestern gate. Let's see the other heroes. Hey, that's Sven. Get a load of these. Get a load of these. Get a load of these. God, this is so cool. All right, let's see all. Let's see all of them. Spread them. Line up. You got me. Oh, the voices. Oh, the voices. All right, cool. Here's our army of hell. Infernal, 1500 hell, 32 to 40 chaos. How much did it cost? 500, 520, and 8. Mephisto's Meteor enables Doom Guards to attack air units as well. Razor Spines enables Hellhounds to use Razor Spines. Let's get everything. Research complete. Research complete. Research complete. Back back. Research complete. All right, cool. I think we got all the upgrades. All right, let's check it out. So we have War Stamp now. Doom Guard can attack air with siege damage. Attacking air with siege. And War Stamp. We've got Hellhounds that have razor spines. <laughs> okay, cool. That's, that's nice. The Hellhound showers an area with his razor spines, dealing up to 100 damage to units in an area. Then we have Felonius, which is a hero. Learn Howl of Terror. Anti his weapon be anti-magic shield that will protect him from spells. Magic warding, cleaving attack. Yep, just like Sven. Cool. And then we have Erroneous and Efreet. Burning hands, adding fire to his gauntlets, but the heat causes him damage also. Ring of Fire. Wow, this reminds me of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Oh. Get him, Sven. Then Fire Shield, an offensive shield made of fire that damages every melee unit that attacks him and adds bonus armor. Let's try Ring of Fire. There it is. And he's got this now. Asmodeus. Creates a crater from which hell creatures come to feast on the enemy units. That's cool. Devour consumes an enemy unit, slowly dead. Oh, it's a Kodo! It's a Kodo ability on the hero! Slowly digesting it and dealing damage per second to it. If the hero is killed while the consumed unit is still digesting, the unit that was devoured will be released. Yeah. While devouring an enemy unit, the hero can ingest its soul. If the hero ingests its soul, he will become stronger. Bonus one strength. Agility, intelligence. Wow, cool. Crater. Let's see Crater. Wow! This is so cute! Turn me loose. Hey, little Infernals! I'm an Infernal Dad! 
That's what a cool ability. And they have chaos damage and five five immolation. Toxic flamers. And here's the demoness. Fire brawls. Hurls a fiery brawls that these deal 70 damage to a target enemy unit and stuns it. And then there's flame increases a target friendly unit's damage. You're in control. Anything for you. Anything I for you. I don't usually do this. You're in control. I don't usually do this. I don't usually do this. Blizzard made these lines. Ooh, that's good. Anything for you. How you doing? I won't bite. Don't be shy. Hmm. Do you work out? You're so dear. Wanna buy me a drink? Oh, that's naughty. We could talk more in the champagne room. Sorry, time's up. Don't be shy. Blizzard made these lines. <laughs> Meteor. You're in control. Hey, that's cool. But it deals damage to self as well. And then you've got the Infernal Juggernaut. 77 to 111 siege damage. This unit is diseased. It will take damage over time. Will it? I won't bite. So he takes the Seas Cloud from the enemy abominations, but because I have Who's Your Daddy, it doesn't work. It's got fortified armor. Wow, you know what this reminds me of? This unit? Uh, Dark Omen, which is a Warhammer game from uh, before you were born. Satter Thief. The Satter sneaks until he gets close. It's Riki! Sneaks until he gets close to his target and he backstabs it. Delicious. Delicious. You again? Wow. And then this one, lava creature. Summon a lava creature. Oh, you can make the same unit that you can produce. This time it is a summon. Gargoyles regeneration grants a 10 HP regeneration per second to friendly units for 30 seconds. Very subtle. And I think I didn't make a volcano yet. Hey, wait, we don't have master training yet. How you doing? Wait, isn't that super master training? Uh, I don't see any difference. Spell steal steals a positive buff from an enemy unit and applies it to a yeah, like spell breakers. Cool. And then Onyx Gargoyle, a heavy flying attack creature made of stone. Oh, it's like a huge and a huge and slow garg. But he can only attack air. He cannot even attack ground. So he's the devourer, the corruptor of Warcraft. And not even that much damage, if I'm being honest with you. But he has fortified armor. The onyx, the honest gargoyle is made of stone and and pieces of it fall upon the units under it, dealing 10 DPS per <laughs> It's quite creative though, like you fly over people and they take 10 damage and because we have the hacksaw on, it's insta-give. Right, because we got who's your daddy on. And then the nether dragon, 595, 8 pop, heavy flying unit. Does casual chaos damage. Pretty slow attack, 500 range, unarmored. And that's about it. And then you can get regen raid for Onyx, Gargoyles. And permanent immolation is already on. Wow, cool. Again, I'd love for these abilities, these races to be ported to another map so we could play a lovely FFA with this where I can take demons to the full extent and play a serious game with it. Hopefully soon. GG. And it crashed again.